So for uh, our topic, no, so we still have um, remaining topics for this semester. So for our next topics, topic is um, C++ switch. No? So definitely we will we'll be using switch statements in order for us to select no, one of the many code blocks to be executed. No? If we will be um, discussing it in a lighter term, no. Diba last time gumawa kayo ng if else, if, etc. No. Other uh, other way in order for you to test whether the um specific um uh specific uh, number or kung ano man yung example natin sa sa what do you call this? Sa program could be a uh, suitable for a specific condition. Then you could actually use it either if no or switch statement okay so if you wanted to select one of the many code blocks in uh, in order to be executed then you use a switch ibig sabihin lang nun is that uh, you have different um you have different um, selection or you have different criteria that as the net mo now if this is if this certain um example or if um, the, if this certain number for example is suitable for this condition then definitely the the block of code will be executed no so that's how uh, we will going to use this so this will be the topic that we will be covering we have the c++ switch statement the break keyword and the default keyword Actually, this is very quick topic because I will be showing you, you know, I will just be showing you on how are you going to do that, no? And an example of syntax for you to try. No, I am encouraging everyone that you should try this, no, after you watch this video, okay? So, ayan. So, what is the use of switch? Sabi nga natin kanina, no, uh, the use of switch uh, statement is in order for you to select no, one of the many code blocks to be executed. No? So let's say, for example, you have created a simple program that you have set um, specific number, about number four, ganyan. and then you use a switch no, statement or syntax in order, to, um, in order to test whether number four, kung saan belong si number four. O kung sa ang block belong sa nam si number four. If belong si number four for a specific block, then definitely that will be executed. No, so that is um switch statement. So how does it works? No, paano nga ba um gumagana ang um, ating switch statement? No, so we have the switch expression. No, definitely it will be um evaluated. No, so once yung value niya, no, yung or yung expression niya is compared with the values of each cases. No, kung merong match don, no, ibig sabihin if there is a match doon sa 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 expression na declare or sa condition na declare mo sa sa case, no, sa different cases. Then definitely yung block of code non kung saan nagmatch yung um uh yung target more yung standard mo then definitely that will be executed no then meron tayong tinatawag na break and default keywords no uh those are optional no and um later on uh will be giving you an example no kung saan sila ginagamit okay, but this is the structure no as you can see here this is the the, the structure of um switch statement okay so um this is how it works so first um the switch expression is evaluated once no the value of the expression is compared with the value of each case okay if there is a match the associated block of code is executed and then lastly, we have the break and the default keywords. There, they again, they are optional. 
no and they will be described no later on no as an example no but the we need the break keyword let's say for example si break kasi later on naman madadaanan din natin siya pag sinabi natin break no ibig sabihin itong condition na to is that meron siyang code may block of code siya no and then definitely it needs break na ibig sabihin hanggang dito lang yung condition nitong block of codes na to. If the, if something is suitable for this block of code or condition block of code, then definitely that uh, kung ano lang yung suitable doon, then that will only be executed. No, other than that wala na siyang i-execute. No, kaya kina kailangan natin ng break sa speech. Okay? For example, let us watch this one. So we have declared a data type, which is an integer, and then a variable uh, day. No, and then that variable is equivalent to number four. No, and then we will be using the switch syntax. Okay, so switch the condition. Uh, inside the condition is that you are testing the the variable day, no, in its value. No, and then uh, open curly brace as you can see here, and then we will declare the case number one, then total dog, and then what will be the condition no, for the case number one? So it's if if um the, the case is uh, is equal to one, no, or the variable is equal to one, then definitely uh this will execute no, or this will in okay. Another is the case number two. And if this is case number two, then definitely it will be executed or it will print out Tuesday. Uh, another case is for the case number three. If the, the value of the variable day is three, then definitely it will print Wednesday. If the value of the variable number four, which is the case number four natin, it will go into print Thursday. Okay. And then, and then we have case number five, or uh, kung ang, val ang value naman ng variable ay five, then that will be Thursday. And then, another, if ang value naman ng um, variable na declare natin ay six, then that will be Saturday. And of course, lastly, if ang value naman ng variable natin ay 7, then definitely that will be Sunday. No. Meron lang error dito, which is dapat uh, tuldok at sweet. Ito, ito, ito part na ito. Ito ay dapat tuldok at sweet. Kaya yan, kinag Ayan, nandito naman sinabi niya naman kung nasa ang line. No. So, balik tayo, going back to the line. No, ito siya. So, ito dapat ay tuldok at sweet. No, so, pag niran mo siya, ang lalabas na output niya ay Thursday. Okay? So, that is an example of switch statement. No, ibig sabihin, you are uh, declaring specific um, conditions for specific cases. No? So, ito naman ay Friday. Ayan. So, kung papalitan mo yung value nito, Ayan, kung 1, that will be Monday. Ayan. So, this is an example of switch statement. Okay. So, uh, moving forward, um, we have this sample code. Ito yung sample kanina. Na Explain lang ulit natin siya. So, we have here integer day, integer and the variable day, and then it is equals to 4. And then we have switch and then the condition, yung test natin, which is yung day, and then open curly brace, and then we have here close curly brace. Okay? So, for the switch, yan, we have the, the, the syntax for the switch, no? So, we have the case number 1, which is uh, case if one man ang um if uh, one ang value ng variable natin na declare dito ang lalabas ay monday if two lalabas ay tuesday if three lalabas ay wednesday 
if 4, lalabas ay Thursday. If 5, lalabas ay Friday. So, kung makikita nyo, meron tayo ditong tinatawag na break. Ayan, o. Oh, nandito. Ayan. So, we have the word break and then tuldok at commit. Okay? So, ito ang example nito. Ang output niya ay Thursday. Okay? So, ayan. No? Ginamit na natin yung word na break. Para saan nga ba yun? No? Ang break ay ginagamit no, in order to stop the execution ng mga susunod na code or mga susunod na cases natin. No, ibig sabihin, kapag nag-qualify na siya for that specific block of code, then definitely yung break ang sasagot doon. Ibig sabihin, oh, you have to stop. Okay? So, yun po yung function ng break. No, yun yung tinatawag natin na break keyword. Okay? Ayan. When C++ reaches a break keyword, it breaks out of the switch block. No? So, kapag yung condition mo, nag-suit na siya doon, then stop na siya. Okay? So, meron din tayong tinatawag na default keyword. Uh, pag sinabi natin default keyword, it specifies some code to run if there is no case match. No? Halimbawa, nag-set ka ng parameters. No? Nag-set ka ng parameters or nag-set ka ng conditions. Kapag hindi siya magmamatch sa mga conditions na yon, then definitely, you could add default, no? yung keyword na default, para if walang match doon sa lahat ng tinest mo na condition, no? then definitely, yung value ni default keyword or yung, uh, con, uh, yung block of code ni default keyword, then yun yung mag -e execute so, for example, Ito yung example natin kanina. Ito yung example na ginawa natin kanina. Eh, nilagyan ko lang ng ano, ng panibagong word. No, today is Tuesday, today is Wednesday. Eh, tapos copy paste lang natin siya para medyo mabilis. Today is Monday. No, pero natanggalin natin tong um I think ano lang, it should be three cases. No, kasi yung input natin ay example kanina. Yung kanina, yung pinaka-example natin is four. No, yung value ng isang ano natin. Um ng example natin. Okay. Tapos, instead na case 3, no, instead na case 3 ito, no, papalitan natin siya ng default. Ayan. So, papalitan natin ito ng default. So, ibig sabihin meron lang tayong dalawang case. So, ibig sabihin meron lang tayong dalawang conditions na pwede natin i-test yung uh, value ng variable natin dito. No? So, halimbawa ito ay 4. Since wala namang 4 dito, case 1 and 2 lang, then definitely, ang ilalabas niya sa'yo ay looking forward for the weekend. Yun yung sinasabi ni default keyword. No? Na kapag ka wala na sa mga cases yung um, value ng variable na dineclare mo dito, then definitely, uh, magre-resort mag, uh, re siya sa default. No? Sa code ni default, which is yung looking forward for the weekend. Ganyan. No? So, yun, yung, yun, yun po yung gamit ni keyword. No? So, ito, another example, 2. 
So, definitely, ito yung case number 2 natin. Dapat ang sagot ay today is Tuesday. No? So, ganun po siya. Since yung katulad ng example ganita, 4 yung nandito, at wala namang 4 dito, yan ang 1 and 2 lang siya, then definitely, hindi siya magre-resort sa default. Okay? Sa default keyword. Okay? So, that is an example. No? Another, uh, this is um, the, the syntax, no? Uh, would you? Uh, I, I I am encouraging everyone for you to try this one. Again, we have integer day, which is the variable, and the value is four. And then we have here the switch, no switch, and then the condition, which is yung ita test natin, is, which is a variable day and its value. And then we have uh, case six and seven. No, if the if the value of the day is 6 and 7, if that is 6, then today is Saturday. If that is 7, today is Sunday. Since this is 4, at wala naman kayong nakikita na 4 dito, then definitely, dito siya sa default. No, babagsak siya dito. Ito yung ipiprint niya na default. No, so, yun po yung ibig sabihin natin doon. Okay? Yeah, so, this is an, um, uh, the, the example of the, what do you call this? Uh, example of the output of the syntax array. So, um, ayan, we have, ayan, we have note the default keyword must be used, uh, must be used as the last statement in switch and it does not need a break. Okay? So, again, uh, a default keyword must be used as a last statement in the switch. And it does not need a break. So, ibig sabihin, that is the last statement sa switch um, syntax natin. Okay. So, that's all for our um, discussion regarding about um, switch. I will be sending an activity on our uh, group messenger. And then, uh, I will also, I will going to send the instruction as well as the what do you call this? Um, as well as the link for submission for for this activity, no. So the deadline will also be um um written in the instruction that I will be sending, no. And then same instruction po tayo. You need to screen record the the process of coding and the the output. No? And then testing the output. And then just upload it in our Google Drive. Okay?